Hello again, I'm Robert Fithin. Uh, we are in full swing of summertime, so I thought it would be a great time to talk about albums that are perfect for the summer. Now, great music obviously sounds great all year through, but I thought I'd pick out 10 albums that just kind of really scream summertime. Whether you're hanging out at the beach or out in the middle of a field throwing frisbees around or lounging by the pool, driving around with the windows down, cruising around town, or let's face it, locked inside your house uh, with the AC cranked up and watching a label on a record turn around and around. Let's start with the obvious, of course, Bob Marley and the Wailers. Perfect for summertime listening. I mean, it's, it's uh, summertime. It's Jamaica. I mean, every time I see Jamaica in a movie or a TV show, because I've never been there, it's always sunny. Of course, if you believe, uh, you know, TV, it's also, uh, you could do some Daryl Hall and John Oates, or maybe G-Love and Special Sauce. Remember them? <laughs> Cold beverage. <laughs> because according to TV, it's also always sunny in Philadelphia. But anyway, Bob Marley and the Wailers, of course, it's all those great albums, but this is the one people usually go for, the awesome compilation legend. This is, this is a perfect uh, greatest hits uh, that's been around since 1984. Some of them uh, are lucky enough to have the gatefold version but this has all the big songs on it of course no woman no cry the live version on here but it also has is this love waiting in vain one love let's get together and feel all right get up stand up getting a little political on here with some early stuff stir it up satisfy my soul exodus we're jamming we hope you like jam i'm not gonna imitate bob marley anymore at least attempt to uh could you be loved is i mean every song is great but of course redemption song is on here as well and uh the one about uh the three little birds Everything's going to be all right. Three little birds singing. Can't get better than that. Bob Marley and the Wailers, a perfect summertime uh, album for like right now, the middle of July, August, whenever the sun's out, thinking about uh, Jamaica, just make sure you got, you know, this is one of the few Jamaican albums that doesn't have the Jamaican colors all over it. Usually they have that. Jimmy Buffett, we head down to Florida. Look how happy he is in his swimming trunks. I, I, I wore Speedo a few times out at the pool, too. You don't want to really do that uh, after getting out of a cool water pool where the water's kind of cool. It doesn't make a very good impression. Uh, but anyway, Jimmy Buffett, changes in uh, latitudes, changes in attitudes. Yes, this is the one with um, Margaritaville on it, so this is the one you want if you want an album. Of course, just like the Bob Marley, you probably want to go for the Jimmy Buffett's Greatest Hits, songs you know by heart. It also has Finn's. And uh, just all the great, you know, the, the all the great Jimmy Buffett hits, Finns, and Margaritaville. Uh, <laughs> so that's why don't we get drunk and screw? Of course, you want that as part of your Jimmy Buffett. Uh, wear your big, uh, I don't know, parrot head fins. I've never actually been to a Jimmy Buffett concert. That's one of my bucket list, I guess, things. But uh, every time he's come around, I've had something else to do. Maybe you want something a little louder. Maybe you want to be around town cranking it up for summertime. We go from uh, Florida to California. Van Halen, the debut is a great one to crank up in the summertime. These guys just scream summertime party uh, with the loud guitars in there as well from Eddie Van Halen. Of course, it's just, a, you know Van Halen, they're a great band, and this is the debut. Of course, just about any Van Halen album sounds great in summertime, whether it's David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar singing about Cabo Wabo. Uh, the, really, the only one that doesn't work so well for summertime is Fair Warning because it's a little more, I guess, icy. It's a little colder sounding but yeah great summertime if you want the one where jamie's crying is messed up be sure to get the walmart version where it has three loud pops no matter i mean it's every single copy of the walmart version does the same thing on jamie's crying van halen great uh sly and the family stone another one like the bob marley or the jimmy buffett where the greatest hits is the one that really works has all the great songs on there including of course hot fun in the summertime how perfect is that um yeah stand is on here uh yeah you can make it if you try very you know kind of like the bob marley very very positive vibes coming off of this very family oriented uh thank you for letting me be myself again a little more political like the you know get up stand up uh but yeah great stuff on here and of course he was the really the highlight of woodstock talking about summertime woodstock 69 with the sun out well except for when it was raining uh, and he did that, um, I want to take you higher that just lifted the whole concert crowd way up. And yeah, it's, it's on here too in the studio version, but yeah, Sly and the Stone, Family Stone's, uh, greatest hits, another perfect compilation. Does not have, uh, what's the one about the mom, mom loves her son, whatever that is, it's not on here. Um, what the hell is that song? Family Affair. Uh, does not have Family Affair on here, though. 
That's the only uh, big track that's missing off of here. Of course, a lot of Sly and the Family Stone uh, albums will work, but this is really the one you want. You want to be careful, especially if you're... I talked about cruising around with the windows down. Album like this, you think, yeah, Sly and the Family Stone, let's... Cru Not, there's a track on here you don't want the windows down on. It's like, what the hell, Sly and the Family Stone? You trying to get me shot? I'm in the St. Louis area. You can't be playing all the songs on here with the windows down. There's one on here. It's like... Wow, that's a little bold. Uh, maybe I'll just roll these up and turn that down. Um, maybe you want to go into the 90s. Black Hole Sun, man, that's on here. Soundgarden's Super Unknown. Get the one that's uh, the original release like this that I have from the 90s. You get the bright orange sunshiny vinyl there. Uh, but yeah, this is great all the way through. The, the songs are just kind of boiling, you know, boiling, slower, kind of the grunge thing obviously happened. But these guys were more like a like a metal kind of a little bit in there with the grunge. But yeah, Soundgarden, Super Unknown, Fell on Black Days, My Wave, of course, talking about, you know, the the keep it off my way, like the surfing wave. So you got the ocean uh, references in here. You've got uh, Fourth of July. I mean, that's summer. The whole thing, just a lot, a lot of summer references in this, especially for what's, you know, called the grunge uh, sound. But yeah, the, the uh, gatefold here, I was never a fan of. Looks super cheap, like it was done on a, like a really early version of a like a computer graphics or something like that. But yeah. Then the album has a She Likes Surprises. The, that's not on the CD. Of course, going back to uh, Cali, I think so. Uh, Santana. Santana has like 100 albums. Whether it's the group Santana or Carlos Santana Solo, which I never really... They, they sound kind of similar. But again, going back to what I was talking about, Woodstock. Here's another highlight when they did Soul Sacrifice. Studio version of that is on here. Uh, of course, Evil Ways is on here. Uh, Jingo is on. Jingo, Jingo, bop, ba, yo, bop, ba, ba. Wait, Jingo's not on here. Never mind. Jingo's not on here. That's on Abraxas. Anyway, uh, but yeah, yeah, Jingo is on here. Uh, save, uh, great album all the way through. And with summertime, when you're just sitting back, lounging and relaxing with the suntan, you know, going on, um, yeah, you can sit here and try to, like, make out where all the faces are. There should be nine faces to find in there. Don't forget the one where it's the whole body. Because that's the one I always forget. But yeah, look for all the faces. Like Santana, you know, this one works. Abraxas, of course, you got this one with the big sun on it. That one works too for summertime. I mean, that, that pretty much says summertime there. Uh, you probably don't want to do the Welcome album. This one uh, sounds more like Santana at the dentist's office. Probably not that. Save this one for like later, you know, springtime or something like that. But yeah, summertime, all that cool stuff going on. And, and you definitely want to be around, you know, the pool or whatever with a record playing because otherwise you could get like sunburned like I did one year. And, you know, having a record playing, you have to get up every 23 minutes and turn it over. So it kind of keeps you active, you know, instead of just kind of falling asleep and then you wake up. Oh, wow. Whoops. Yeah. Grateful Dead. There's kind of two kinds of camps with the Grateful Dead. There's people like myself that prefer the studio albums with kind of you know, properly structured four and a half minute songs. And then there's people that like the long, drawn out, noodling jam kind of things. We'll follow them all over the country on tour. Either way, Grateful Dead definitely works for the summertime. Look, this guy's got an ice cream cone. He's trying to eat it with his brain. That's a deadhead right there, man. When you're trying to eat an ice cream cone with your forehead, man, that's, that's drugs. Speaking of drugs, man, how about uh, the 90s? You can have uh, serious drugs here listening to some ween. And the Mollusk, that's a summertime crazy album with some psychedelic uh, influences on there for the 90s anyway. That's why I have it on a CD. But the Ocean Man, you know, again, we're out by the ocean. You know, a lot of weird stuff going on here. <clears throat> Maybe you'd like your summertime to be a little, a little more strange. I would suggest Ween, the Mollusk. Staying in the 90s, you've got Caius and Welcome to Sky Valley. Of course, they're from the desert. So again, hot, you know, that, that. Desert heat just comes through in the music. Of course, later on, they kind of transform a little. A few of their members go on to become um, uh, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. But yeah, Caius is where it all began. Welcome to Sky Valley. You can get Blues for the Red Sun as well. It even has Sun in the title. I used to have Blues for the Red Sun on a CD. I still do somewhere. I should have pulled that. But it's weird because it was a misprint. And when you play this, it, it has the CD label on it for Caius, you know. And then when you play it, it's Looney Tunes covered, like songs, like sound effects and little quick, like minute long Looney Tunes cartoon songs. Total misprint. I don't know if anybody else has one like that, but yeah, the Caius Blues for the Red Sun uh, CD was very, very strange. And then, of course, there's two versions of the Welcome to Sky Valley disc as well on CD. You can get the one where it's all just one long track, like Prince's Love Sexy, 
or you can get like the radio version, which is what I had where they're actually cut up into individual songs. You're thinking like tropical, maybe somebody like Chardet. She's too tropical though. She's more like springtime when it's always raining. You know, save, save her for like April when it's a little more like, you know, like tropical. But she works for the summertime too. And it is Chardet. I'm so tired of explaining this. It is not Shady or Shaw, Shaw Day. Or it's Chardet. I literally asked at one time a CBS record executive. It's Chardet. It even says that on the record label. That's why I've always called her that. I had Diamond Life. It says it on the cassette. It says it on the spine of the CD. Chardet. Here's her best. This is a great compilation too. Two discs there with uh, very minimal text. But yeah, uh, great summertime stuff. If you're looking for something maybe a little more current, there's the Kareng Bin um, Mordecai is my favorite album from them. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's them with words. But yeah, very funky and kind of, uh, you know, you got that sunshine thing going on again. Got those positive vibes. The song Time, where in the video they're making sandcastles out on the street. I mean, that's, that's, you know, you're wanting some summertime and some beach when you're making sandcastles out in the middle of the city. Yeah. Crank Ben and, um, Mordecai is a great album as well for the summertime. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many, if you know some great songs or some great albums that just are like, yeah, they're great all year, but in the summertime, it's just kind of next level. Put those in the comments. Please don't mention the beach boys and J DJ Jazzy Jeff in the summertime. Like, wrong channel wrong channel for the beach boys um but yeah i'm I thank you so much for watching hopefully you're going to have a great summer or you're already having one i'm going to try to get out a little more and uh my nose is already a little sunburned so hopefully my get, oh, whole face can get uh, match that but yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll talk to you again next time maybe when it's still summertime